Hello, so for the last 12 months or so I've been using the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc and of course not that long ago they released the Xperia Arc S but I chose not to upgrade. Um, the reasons why I didn't see that there were enough differences personally because I already owned this device, I was quite happy with the way it performed and the extra processor speed um, didn't really make a huge difference to me um, and the extra software features came in an update to the Xperia Arc. But we're a few months on again from the release of the Xperia Arc S and they've now released the new Sony Xperia S. So the question is, will I be upgrading? And I think in short, the answer is yes. There's enough differences on this new device for me to upgrade. It's still fairly similar to the old Xperia, uh, but there are some improved features which I think will make it worthwhile. So as standard, the operating system is going to come with Android 2.3, but of course it'll be upgradable to Ice Cream Sandwich. But most importantly, we've got some better hardware. So we've now got um, a dual-core 1.5 gigahertz processor. Now I think that's worth an upgrade. You know, going from 1 to 1.4 on the Xperia Arc S wasn't, but now dual-core and 1.5 is definitely um, worthwhile. And there's a lot of devices with dual-core processors out there now. So that's one positive. Screen size, there's 0.1 of an inch in it, so yeah, no biggie there in terms of the actual overall size. The weight is going to be increased as a result though, so that's a bit of a downside, but weight isn't a big issue for me um, because a lot of the time at my desk or if it's in the car or something it's docked. The battery capacity is going to be bigger as well, so we're going to get a few uh, hundred more milliamp hours. So that's beneficial and the added weight uh, there will outweigh it. The lack of micro SD card support um, isn't a big thing for me. I was thinking that actually I'd want something with a micro SD card slot, but the fact that I use a 16 gigabyte card in here um, and very rarely do I actually hit the maximum there, even though I've got music, I do limit that a little bit. Um, the 32 gigabyte internal memory that you'll get on the Xperia S um, it is fine really. I, I think I'm going to actually end up having more memory than I need when I come to think of it, but I've always liked the ability to um, expand if I, if I chose. But uh, that will do. The micro SIM issue, well, I guess a lot of devices are moving to micro SIMs, so there's not a lot I can do um, about that. It makes it a little bit more fiddly, and if you want to chop and change devices that don't use micro SIM, but it's not really a big thing. Um, in the overall picture. You've then got the fact of the better camera. The Xperia Arc takes a fantastic picture. Um, it pretty much replaced my sort of standalone compact camera. I have a digital SLR, but this, when I'm going out with friends and what have you on a night out, is, is perfect. It takes a fantastic picture in low light, and I expect the, uh, the new Xperia S is going to do the same and the fact that it's got even more megapixels makes um, a bit of a difference, get even better pictures. Of course, it's not all about megapixels, but they're gonna be taking a lot of the technology um, for both the screen and the camera through to the new device. So I think all in all, it's a really good upgrade. I'll probably go for the white one. I think that's the uh, nicer looking one. I've been always going for black devices in, in the past or a, a darker color, but the white, uh, stands out to me this time. I think probably because of the notification panel that you're actually going to get down on the bottom. Um, it just all seems to work a little bit nicer in my opinion and the likes of the white iPhone uh, 4S and what have you seem to be very popular. I thought I think it's a bit, a bit more of an in colour maybe whereas um, sort of the black is the more traditional. So another couple of quick points that um, or reasons why I'm upgrading is the fact that you've still got the um, HDMI which is important for videos uh, and pictures. Not that I use it an awful lot, it is quite handy when it comes to sharing some videos for YouTube around a friend's house or something like that or a few pictures if you've been out for the day or the evening just to uh, sort of show rather than sharing via email or upload them to Facebook or what have you. Um, but the, the other probably major reason is NFC. Now I'm not a big user of NFC. Uh, on the whole the, the world isn't using NFC enough. Um, it's a growing technology and in the next few years I'm sure we'll see it uh, become much more standard. But I really like the idea of what Sony are doing with the smart tags. It's kind of an evolution of Motorola's smart actions 
Um, it's not quite as intelligent as Motorola's system, but I think what Sony have really done is hit the nail on the head with the fact that people are more likely to scan their phone past something rather than allow the phone to learn. They'd rather tell it to do it when they want it to, but what they don't want to have to do is go through changing all the settings. And I think the smart tags is a unique and powerful thing. I mean, I know personally that throughout the day or the week, I, there are a lot of different things I do do on my phone. Um, I would find it useful. Hopefully NFC won't drain the battery life as a result. Um, but, you know, going to bed at night, for example, I like to turn off my Wi-Fi and data so I don't get any of my emails through. I'll switch an alarm on. Um, and those simple things, just by swiping the phone, you know, it's not going to save me a lot of time, but it just makes it a little bit easier and I'm not there sort of fiddling with the, the settings and what have you. And going out the door in the morning, you know, switching your, your Wi-Fi or data back on um, as you go out and, and then in the car for GPS, rather than having to switch the GPS on, go into maps, the fact that you can just scan it will make everything that little bit easier and a little bit simpler. So those are some of the you know key points as to why I'm upgrading. So that's just my opinion on, on the new device and the fact that I'll be going for it. Be interested to hear what your thoughts are on the new phone and of course when I do switch to it, um, I'll let you know what I think. So until next time, thanks for watching.